Ralph is here from Ridgeview Liquor. We have meads tonight. We have meads. Meads tonight. You know, we've talked a lot about beer mm -hmm. and how the different malts add character and the hops right. add character. We've talked about wines and mm -hmm. the different grape varieties and the, all the different characters that they can mm -hmm. have. Now we're talking about mead. Okay, what is mead? For people who don't know, what is mead? It's not wine, it's not beer. It's just mead. It's honey. Okay. So you can have a honey-based product or you could add some fruit to it. It would mm -hmm. be a piment if you add fruit. Okay. Uh, you can add spices and herbs to it. You can do just about anything you want. Okay. To. A really wide open palate. You can make it dry. You can make it sweet, like a trad traditional mead sure. for the honeymoon. Uh -huh. That was the honeymoon oh, story. Okay. So you would get this nice sweet mead, and you'd mm -hmm. have a thirty-day supply of it, and. That was honeymoon. That was the honeymoon. Boy, so we this, think that needs to happen. This product <laughs> that I have brought is from a little town just outside of Akron, Ohio. Right. Mogador. Yes. No one's ever heard of this. No. It's crafted artisan meadery. Mm -hmm. These bottles are about 10 to 12 bucks depending on which one you buy. Mm -hmm. uh, the one that I opened up <clears throat> is the Despair. Despair, okay, and that's this and one right an here. And it's an homage to Edward Munch and his classic photo or his classic painting of, of the scream. Mm -hmm. And so they don't take themselves real seriously with the names, but they do take their mead making very seriously. How long does it take to typically make one of these? Meads can take a long time. Yeah. Uh, sugars or The sugars in honey are very slow to ferment. Mm -hmm. So they can take a long time. Um, I don't know, six to eight months. Oh, or, okay. It depends. Okay. Some processing goes a little faster, but it takes a little longer than And how much think. alcohol would you say? Well, they can be very high, mm -hmm. they can be very low. These are what So you they can really do anything you want to these yes, things. You can right. put anything you want in them, make them, you know, for as long or short or however you want to do it. Absolutely. Okay. Like the, the pollination is 6%. Oh, okay. And this one, is, it's a gold medal winner at the uh, International Mead Competition. Mm -hmm. They donated money to the um, bee research in Ohio State yeah. so that, uh, because, you know, honey, I mean, bees, bees should be our major focus because right. two thirds of our food supply yes. is pollinated by bees. We right. need to have them. So it's an important thing to, that, to have beads and honey. And so this right here, I mean, this is perfect for summertime drinking, right? Because oh, it's just light. so light and crisp. And yeah, just, well, it's just you know, drink. this is a little sparkling. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit of fizz to it, not a lot. Yeah. Uh, so it's very refreshing. And while you would think it would be very sweet, yeah. it isn't. You taste the honey. Mm -hmm. But it's not overly sweet. That's a good And time. that's really nice. That's a good tip to have. All right, thanks so much, Ralph, for being with us. For more information about these me's, just visit our website, NBC26.com. Click on our